most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shop physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Uh, we are deviating from the norm here, Brad. Mm-hmm. We're, we're going off topic here, and you know we're not staying in our lane, as people tell us to do. But it's our show. We can do what it's we want. It's our show, and we're doing this out of an appreciation to our office manager. Sure. She's been my office manager for 30-some years, Brad. I think it might be 35 um, yeah, she's really got some mental toughness. Very, very <laughs> dedicated. So the title of our program today is We Paid $2,000 to Have Cats Named Bob and Brad. Well, are we going to talk about what Joni does? Yes, let's talk about it. So She, she has, has a cat sanctuary, sanctuary, evergreen sanctuary. And she actually takes in like feral cats or she'll take in cats that are uh, – that they can't find a home for because right. they have yep. some problems, yeah. like ours. <laughs> and she's got, what, about 60 or 70 I thought cats? it was 40. We'll find out today. Well, whatever. It, it's a ma- yeah. it's a big caged-in area that it's like a deluxe way oh for a cat God, to Oh, my God. I wish I had a life like that. Yeah. And these cats have, I mean, the life of Riley. I they mean, got furniture and everything. Yeah. it's just, And we'll show it to you. You're going to check it out. So we, I wanted to donate to her cause, and Brad's willing to donate to her cause. So we're going to... We donated a thousand dollars for each cat uh, to name them Bob and Brad, and are, uh, are they going to get luxury suites? Uh, yeah, them? we want them to be treated well, so <laughs> even we'll get them massage guns and stuff like that. Yeah, ooh, kitty kitty massagers. Yeah, <laughs> so check it out. You're gonna you're gonna enjoy seeing this place. Uh, it, even if you don't like cats, you still <laughs> it'll make you purr. Yeah, <laughs> in comfort. So here we are at the Evergreen Cat Sanctuary, yes. right? Yes. There so it is. Look at this. Look at that fence there, that, or that gate. That's amazing. But uh, well, these are lions. <laughs> Big cat. <laughs> yeah. Big cat. Well, why is it that we see a dog? So I mean, the, you have to have a dog with the cats. I, I, <laughs> they I all get that. along. By they all get along. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can't we all get along? So, uh, you've had this place since when? I mean, when did you start Evergreens? I started fostering cats in 2013, okay. but I actually established a sanctuary in 2017. Okay, and let's talk numbers here. About what <laughs> you... um, most of the cats living here, they live here. They're not they're, adoptable. They're, they're, they're going to be here forever. Right, because they have issues that makes them unadoptable. Sure. And I have a total of 61 right now with maybe only a couple that might be adopted. You are the cat lady, <laughs> without a doubt. And they're not in my house. So, <laughs> so, so you, you're you responsible for all the feeding and taking yeah, care yeah, of them? And yeah. That's a kind of a... That's a hefty... Quite a job. Yeah. Hefty dollar amount, I'm sure. Right. <laughs> yes. You could donate some food. Oh, and, yes, yes. So and by the way, uh, she's in Altura, Minnesota. Mm-hmm. So if anybody wants to donate food, and we're uh, obviously... Uh, donate money too. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> She'll yeah. take that stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, I just want to ask one question here, you know, in, in all seriousness. So, like, let's say, you know, you know, um, one night you pass away. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Do you think? I'm, I'm serious. Well, it's gonna happen. Let's say Jim's gone. Yeah. Let's say 30 years from now, okay. you pass away. <laughs> Are the cats going to eat you? Because they want to eat food. <laughs> they got to, I mean, will they break into your house? And why, Bob? Why? <laughs> <laughs> why does it they come with No, oh. they're too well fed. They can go without food a long time. Okay. <laughs> you probably got those things that automatically feed them. Oh, no, this is oh, yeah. the automatic feeder oh, really? right here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. It is impressive. I When I first saw this, I just could not believe how comprehensive and large and this complex is. <laughs> Oh, it's, I, you, you gotta find I'm, out. If I'm really a cat, this is where I want to live. I'm thinking. Yeah, I want to live here as a human. <laughs> so, now, okay, so you die, you get eaten by the okay. cats, <laughs> and you go to heaven, and you go to the pearly gates like this. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then it opens up, and there's dogs there. You think you're in trouble then? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I do. Did you? I was thinking about these. Last you know, night got, you were thinking about all uh, these questions. Interview question, and that's all you could come up with. Well, uh, one more. Oh, uh, what? You know, what if the cats kind of get together and start thinking, we can take her, They're like rise to the planet of the apes? You know, you it's kind of happened a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> you watch too much YouTube, Bob. but she keeps them. She keeps them separate. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I so, gotta keep them seg- segregated, or else yeah. they won't get together. Now you do have some cats that. 
don't get along with other cats. Right. And yep. they're kind of got their own separate area. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you got special need ca needs cats. Yeah, elderly and, and such that need extra food. So, so uh, do you have to have a vet come out here every you now and then? Uh, I usually take them in. Uh -huh. um, uh, hopefully, after my new facility, I will have a vet come out oh, at least monthly. Oh, new facilities. Yes. And the plans, you got it drawn yeah. out? Oh, yeah. It's, a, it's actually being built. We'll see it. When yeah, we we'll see it. I did see a structure going <laughs> yes, up back there. <laughs> wow. So does the... Uh, the veterinarian donate their services to no. some extent so well yeah she does to me um because because i i'm partnered with a different rescue group sure that that does do adoptions that's why when i do get cats i do try to make them adoptable yeah and and then i turn them over to that other rescue. so the vet has to okay them that they're oh, yeah. acceptable for oh, adoption. all the all these cats are vaccinated and and spayed and neutered too so they've seen veterinarians absolutely but i mean if one's like a biter or the that's not is that an issue why they don't get adopted oh, yeah. maybe they have a personality issue. oh oh you said yeah, the absolutely. number one issue why they didn't get adopted was what uh they don't use the litter box correctly they sure the urinate oh the make box. messes yes mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, and that's where never... you're gonna be <laughs> uh, you're gonna be <laughs> out <laughs> they just keeps coming up with yeah, all yeah, this yeah. stuff is this the aging <laughs> process taking over i don't get it all right well, well let's start, go on yeah, yeah. well we can start the tour and uh, again we're gonna have a link uh, below yeah for her to donate mm -hmm. i mean she's a really good person she I, is i was just saying you've been my office manager for 30 some years 30 some years <laughs> yeah, that's too, too, too many to think <laughs> too many. how'd you come up with the name just made it up well i got a lot of evergreen trees oh yeah so yeah. Man, that's very kinda... nice Which one? I told you. Uh, Look at that. That's Bob. <laughs> he said that's pretty. It should be Bob. Yeah, that's, that's Brad, too. Oh, is it really? Pretty Where? Sure. I gotta get closer, but yeah, I'm pretty Orange sure it's Brad. Yep, that's Brad. Now explain to why why Bob can't can't be adopted. He bites. He bites. So you're gonna hold him and pet him? Yeah, you damn right I'm gonna. Good. <laughs> if you'll let me. And what is it? Why isn't Brad being adopted? Because he doesn't be quiet. <laughs> oh, wow. It is like Brad. <laughs> and he's got the uh, same color shirt on. Good kitty. Yeah, he's not a biter. Good. He's a lover. Yes. I can't wait till. Oh, now you want to shake fingers. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we want to thank Joni for showing us around. This is an amazing complex. Uh, you can see that it takes a lot of effort and money to keep this thing running. So if you go find it in your heart, maybe dip into your pocket and send a few bucks her way. Yep. Um, she'll definitely put them to good use. Oh, yeah. 
Especially if you're a cat fan. Right. If you're a dog fan, well, we'll have to find a dog you might, treasure. Yeah, right? you might convert. Yeah, I might convert. Yeah, once, <laughs> once you realize, this is incredible. It's like, I don't know, must be a, at least a solid acre of fenced in, fenced in yeah. housing. It's a campus, actually. Yeah. It's a cat campus. Cat yeah, campus. Yeah, Joni's cat campus. All right. Very well, nice. Again, thanks for uh, Thank watching. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> you are skinny, Winnie. We've got much better. Look how nice coat.